we get this video started, I guess I gotta put this out there because some people probably might take this seriously. This is a joke, okay? It's a skit. This isn't actually how the interview went down. It's just a joke, okay? I have no ill feelings towards any of these guys. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. It's a joke, man. It's a come on, man. I, I don't have to explain this. One safe. Let me know what candidate that we should do a interview skit on next. And hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Let me know some feedback. Thank you for ever watching or enjoy the video. And I'm out. Hi, Robert. Robert Sala. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Chris. It's good to good to finally meet you, man. And you are? I'm Sheila. Oh, Sheila, Sheila Ford Ham. Sheila, you look you look fascinating. Is this where I sit? Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Hey Robert, so I guess the first thing I have for you is if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself and then maybe a little bit of your coaching background and how you got to where you are. Now before before we do that, if I could just say thank you guys for the opportunity. I'm very grateful to have this opportunity and I'm an open book and you know I'll give you guys any kind of answer that you're looking for. I'm here to tell you everything that I know and I'm just again I'm just really grateful for this opportunity. So thank you guys uh for for reaching out and um you know giving me a chance to uh to come here and do this interview. Um okay, so my background if if I could before before I go in uh to the background, I uh, actually brought something. Now I know this is probably a little bit different for interviews, but I actually brought you don't um, need to do that. this from from when I was <laughs> from when I was a kid. So this is uh this, this is this yeah, is this is my oh, Chris Fieldman jersey, man. Let's go, man. I'll oh. see you. Yeah, this is my this is uh this is my Chris Fieldman jersey. Man, you got my jersey. Uh, I had my this jersey. Up. I just thought I would bring maybe like you know a little souvenir or something uh, as I talk about you know my background. So I was uh, I'm actually from Michigan. I assume you were a Lions fans, then, right? <laughs> Going into the coaching side of things, I started as a defensive side of the ball coach working for Central Michigan and also for Michigan State. Uh, later, I got an opportunity as a uh, as a linebacker coach. I, I, I got an opportunity as a linebacker oh, coach. Oh, linebacker coach. With, yep, linebacker. I coached linebackers with Jacksonville. I love that position. There's no there's no better position. You know, there's just not. I mean, hey, quarterback, none of it. Yes, linebackers sir. is where it's at. So I love the linebackers. So underrated. So, just yep, so underrated. Love, love you writing this down or what, Sheila? And uh, as linebacker coach, and now I am the defensive coordinator with San Francisco, and I'm very proud of the work we've done, especially especially with our linebackers. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, no more souvenirs. Okay, can we get to the questions? All right. Uh, first question I have for you then, Robert, is um, how do you feel about our quarterback situation with Matthew Stafford? Yeah, sure. From an outside perspective, Matthew Stafford is obviously an unbelievable quarterback, an unbelievable talent. I mean, you know, if we were here, I, we would evaluate him definitely to see how he fits with this offense. But I know from an outside perspective, I've seen this guy fl play many times, and I know what Matthew can do with the ball. So he would definitely be a, a great leader for this team, I think, going forward from an outside perspective. But I also think on that same line, uh, defensively, the, that's exactly what the defense could use is, Thank you know, you. the quarterback of Thank the defense. You, I, know, I know Chris Fieldman. I know, Chris, you know all about how important it is and how difficult it is to play a linebacker position, but no one seems to give it credit that, you know, they're the quarterback of the defensive side, but no one talks about it like that. Chris, I know you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Guy, man, he just, he knows. He knows what we need, man. Okay. Uh, next question. Uh, what do you feel is... The biggest need for Detroit. Uh, what do you think is the biggest need for our Detroit Lions to get back on track next season and for the future? I think the biggest need for this team is definitely a leader. I think they need to change the culture. The culture is something that needs to be built from within, from within Detroit, from the roots up. I think they absolutely need a leader for this organization. And I think me uh, personally, you know, not trying to kind of sound cocky, but to be instead confident that I could be the leader that this organization does need uh, to to build this this culture and to build it from the ground up. Third question. Now, it's the NFL draft, and I know that's far out, but if, if it was the draft tomorrow, what would be some of your top prospects, knowing that we have the seventh pick in the draft, what would you be looking to add? I think, you know, if I could, if I could draft... Um, you know, any guy right now, like, as you said, there's still a lot of guys out there that I would have to learn about as I'm really been focused on this season in particular, but just a couple guys that come to mind. Uh, Micah Parsons is obviously an incredible talent. I think at sitting at number seven, there's a chance that he falls. Uh, if not, you know, uh, just some other guys, you know, I definitely like Zayvon Collins. I think he's very talented. Uh, another name that definitely comes to mind is Jeremiah, uh, out of Notre Dame. He's pretty good as well. I also like that Michigan kid. I think he could be an absolute steal. The same names I have on my big board. <laughs> what do you know? What a coinky dink. Hmm. Interesting. I think it's kind of interesting that all those are linebacker names. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm reading too much into it. Okay. Final question. What, Sheila, Sheila, if I could, if I could please ask a question. I think I have a really good one for you, Robert. Go ahead. No, thank you. Robert. Now, I know you're known to be a very enthusiastic, passionate 
loud coach on the sideline. If I could ask, what is the what is your coaching style? If you could explain what your coaching style is to us. I'm a very hands-on coach. I'm very passionate. I'm very involved in the games. And, you know, sometimes I can maybe maybe show that a little bit on the sideline, but that's just because I care so much. And I'm just very passionate and I'm very hands-on just with the way that I do things in practice. So, you know, I'll be very involved with with my players individually, getting to know them, what they do and they don't do well, and also helping them out, demonstrating, you know, what I believe that they can do better, especially on the defensive side. I feel like I have a lot of knowledge uh, there with my past experiences to help out this defense and hopefully turn it around sooner rather than later. Now, now, Robert, this may sound strange, but I think I need it for the interview. I think we both would love this for the interview. Could you show me a demonstration of hands-on coaching of a young linebacker? What, what you would tell a young linebacker? You know what? Better yet, I'll come over there. You show me. Demonstrate it to us. Sheila, get these notes. Write, the, write it down, Sheila. Oh, you're coming over here? Okay, I guess we're doing this. Okay. I guess I'll move my chair. Oh, man, you still got it. Man, you look like you still, you look like you can still play, man. Not even losing hair yet. It doesn't even look like you're going bald at all. What are you, like 25? Oh, I don't even, I don't even dye it. It's just still the same color. It's crazy. So the first thing I would definitely say is I would get in your face and I would tell you straight up, do you want to be a winner? And what would you respond with? <laughs> yeah, me, I want to be a winner. You want to be a winner? Well, I need to know that you want to be a winner. So I get you to your stance just like this. Look how I'm pulling up my yeah. legs. Just like this. Get this stance right here. There you go. I see you. Now, okay, you're losing a little bit of balance here. I know you see that balance. You've been working on it. I can see you. Getting better. You're getting better already. Okay, hunch the back. Hunch the back. No, don't hunch too much. Don't hunch too much. Make sure you're on your toes. Stay light. Stay light. Great. Now, someone comes at you right here. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What do I Show do? Show me a big monster hands. What do you do? Give me a little bit of energy. Rip through, baby. Now Rip you're going to make this ass. Show me how you win. Show me some form tackling. I got to see the form tackling. Drive. And I drive. Get back up! It's get okay. back up on your feet! Now Come on! Who are we? I'm Chris! What do we do? Let's go! Who are wow. we? What do we do? Yeah, let's go. If I may, how did how did the interview go? Terrible. With capital T. Yikes. I wasn't expecting that. Looks like they're having fun over there. Oh! I think she left. Is that good? Is that bad? No, man, that's not a bad thing. She's, you killed it. You absolutely killed it. That's the best interview I've been a part of. You know what? She's probably right now going to work on that contract. So honestly, if I were you, call your wife, tell her to go get you a cake from a bakery, get blue and silver icing, and say, have it say, congratulations, coach, because you're the next head coach of the Detroit Lions. Now I'm tired. Do you want to go get some Dunkin' Donuts? How about some Tim Hortons? I don't know. All right, man. Wow. I didn't think I'd have to go take a shower after this, but let's go. I love the, I love Dunkin' Donuts. Tim Hortons? Okay, we can do that. Chris, if you could, how did it go? Unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. You, my friend, are looking at the next head coach of the Detroit Lions. She, this organization's confusing. <laughs>